Well, guys, we are continuing on with the series on adding a lean to. Today's job is going to be putting on the headers and starting with roof trusses. Want to see how? Come check it out. Yesterday afternoon, we were able to finish up setting all the posts. I'll spin around and show you this. So they are all set, um, concrete done and all locked in and we are to a point that we can proceed to the next step which is installing the headers now let me back out here and i'm going to show you what i'm needing to do so the header is the horizontal board that all the roof truss set on as you can see the angle that i have here i want to make absolutely sure that i get the exact same angle over on this side so the challenge that I have is my ground here in this area is not level. In fact, if I swing over, you can see that the ground falls off. It's not a real steep fall, but it is a fall. So there's no way to get a measure up. So this is where a self-leveling laser comes in so wonderful to have. Now I don't have one. I was very fortunate my son does and I borrowed his. And so last night, after we got the post set and right before it got dark, uh, it was so easy to see. I came over here and set this up. The laser, this top one shoots out a 360 degree beam, horizontal beam. It's all self-leveling. And I adjusted this up until the beam was hitting the bottom of my horizontal on this side. Okay, then I just came over to here that same beam was shooting a line on my post and I made a mark on every single one. So now I should have my header height should be the exact same as it is on this side and I should very easily be able to match these up. So that got done last night. So we are now ready to proceed on to the next step of uh, building this lean to and that is installing the headers. So let's get Guys, just a quick tech tip. Uh, when you are putting up wood, even if it's rough, especially if it's rough cut, uh, but any kind of wood, when it's coming off a manufacturer, number one, if, a, if you get a 12 foot board, it's gonna be a little more than 12 foot, but the ends are not probably, in most all cases, are not gonna be square. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you use your speed square, and you come down here and check, you can see how much of an angle it's off. So it's really nice just to do a quick check. And if you need to, like I do right here, I'm gonna do a quick cut and I'm gonna square this up just so it's a nice straight square cut. And another thing I think you guys have seen me do in the past, but I use the speed square as my guide. And for somebody who is an amateur as I am, and I don't mean that in an ugly way toward myself, but I'm not a pro, this right here keeps me from, uh, you know, I, I can always cut a nice straight cut using this as my guide. It's a great little trick.
Okay guys, so I've got the header boards up and I've just got them screwed in temporarily. The main thing I wanted to do uh, while I had the help of my son was to get them up and get them level uh, and just get them put up hanging. Uh, I'm going to go back now and put in a much heavier bolt. I'm going to use a product that's called Ledger Locks uh, and I'm also going to uh, double it. Uh, I'm going to do two extra bolts. I'm going to do two uh, ledger locks per board per side and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to drill two more holes and I'm going to do carriage bolts. Now there is a methodology that's better than this. This this will be more than adequate uh, for what I'm doing but there is a better method and I'm going to swing around and show you this method was used on my center section of my uh, the main section of my uh, building but if you look up you can see to where they actually cut and notch into the wood and so you've got a much better mechanical bond and the six by six is actually with it being notched it is uh, the, the vertical post is actually also helping you carry the weight of the whole roof and it's not just on the carriage bolt but no more weight that's going to be out here on the smaller lean-to section i definitely can get by but i definitely want to do the ledger locks and the carriage bolts so anyway Guys, I'm going to go ahead and be getting those installed now, and uh, that way uh, tomorrow I just got back from picking up uh, another load of material for my roof trusses and my stringers, and that'll be tomorrow's project. But for today, I want to get all the ledger locks, I mean the uh, header board all locked in with the ledger locks, so tomorrow I'll be ready to hit it hard and get the roof trusses cut and get those mounted. So anyway, let's get busy putting these in. By the way, guys, this is what they, get the right one this is what they look like. Now you can get the kind that has a different head on it, but since I'm pulling this up to wood, I wanted the ones that had the big fat head built into it so it'll act like a washer and just really pull up tight on the wood. So anyway, this is what these are. Very high tensile strength, uh, very strong, and like I said, this would probably do it, but I'm also gonna double up with carriage bolts. Anyway, let's keep getting her done. So guys, the end of a very productive day. Uh, the poles are all finished up, or I should say the post. Uh, again, that's pressure treated six by sixes. Um, the header boards are two by tens, and they are installed. They're all locked in. Everything's laser leveled, so that's all good to go. And I'll swing around and show you guys where we are with that. I think it's looking great so far. And then I have also made a run back to the lumber yard and swing over here i have got my two by sixes for my roof trusses and my two by fours for my stringers and so tomorrow morning we will be at a point that we can start um, doing the roof truss section of it and so we'll call this an end for today uh, ready to go kick back and get a little rest and get geared up for tomorrow so guys thanks so much for watching uh, please consider liking and subscribing and sharing all with all your friends and we will see you guys again back uh, very quickly because tomorrow we'll be back at it with the next phase the next part of this series uh, to get this thing up before the end of the week i hope lord willing and the creek don't rise so anyway guys take have a great afternoon take care and we will be back talking to you again real soon thanks for watching